Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, howdy. This is Shay Rippinger of Hip to Hoopla, and you are here for the Hoopla of Y'all Show. Or hopefully, hopefully you're here for that. Anyway, uh, that's what I am doing right now. This is episode 82, and this is a special series, an eight-part series on becoming awesome. So you can hashtag becoming awesome, and we're going to do that with the laughter technique. So what is the laughter technique? It's something that I've created. So, uh, but it's using the acronym laughter. So spell out the word laughter. We're covering the L part today, which is learning. And um, I'm going to be doing some uh, hoop tutorial of the combo of a combo, a hoop dance combo. So, and it actually happens to be part of the World Hoop Day Dance. So in case you want to learn it for that, or you could just learn this as a cool combo. So. Um, and there will be, there is music that is original music that you are welcome to download um, for free if you are using it for the World Hoop Day Dance. If you're using it for other purposes, that's a no-go. But if you're using it for the World Hoop Day Dance, which is um, this year is Saturday, October 5th, then uh, yeah, it's a go. And, and use it for your events to plan that. Okay, so I've got a lot to cover in our uh, 20 minutes or under uh, to see if I can get all this going. So with the Hoop Love You All show, I'm your host, Shay Ripperger of Hip the Hoopla, and I cover health, humor, and hooping. And like I said, this is an eight-part series on becoming awesome and uh, the with the laughter technique. I have to over-enunciate because when I do the captions on this, it throws some really interesting translations up. And that's just English. I can only imagine what it does in other languages. So <laughs> anyway, all right. So what this is, uh, we're talking about learning. Uh, learning is the first of the laughter technique. That is the L part of the word uh, laughter. So learning, many health benefits. Learning, three of them. There, there's many health benefits to learning. But three of them that I love personally is that learning is good for brain improvement it just is so you want to have brain improvement constantly and consistently because it helps your brain stay active but it also creates new neural pathways so that helps keep your brain active and you can actually grow new brain cells it used to be thought that brain cells died off and didn't get regenerated that they science has proved that to be not true anymore uh, not it that it wasn't true before but that it has expanded and now we learn that the brain can do marvelous things and keep doing marvelous things and even more marvelous things. So yes, so new neural pathways, that's the first, uh, one of my first favorite things about learning. Uh, second thing is it's better social connection. So, and I'm reading my, my little script notes here because I did some good research on this. So I, I like this, although these are my personal ones about this. Um, the, uh, the better social connections, better interactions to develop new relationships. And when you learn, you have material to converse with. So you can have better conversations with your family and friends and colleagues and work peers and whoever, the person standing next to you in line in this line that is just, you know, it has no fun to it at all. But when you start up, a, strike up a conversation and, you know, maybe e either make a new friend or at least make somebody smile in their day, that might just be a nice thing to their day and yours as well. Okay. And then the third thing that I really love about learning is it's fun. For me, learning is fun. Hopefully it's fun for you. Like learning hoop dancing, so hula hoop dancing, this is um, not only fun and, and meditative, and uh, there's so many benefits to this, but uh, yeah, it's just, it's it's fun. You do get a lot of social interaction with that. Uh, you can connect with other people all over the world through video or, you know, actually in person, all kinds of stuff like that. So yes, learning can be fun. You can learn techniques from other people. You can learn by experimenting yourself and self-teach yourself. So self-taught people, there are lots of those in the world. So that is one of the ways you can become awesome, becoming awesome. So yeah. So, um, and I want you to think about as, as you're watching this, um, whether live or in the replays, please do comment wherever you're watching from live. I, I really appreciate you watching live. If you're watching on the recording, please comment there too. Where are you watching from? And I want you to keep in mind what, like, what is your favorite learning tip? 
So let me know, what is your favorite learning tip? So one of mine might be to have quiet and to sometimes uh, music is helpful for that. So for some people, they've actually done studies that Baroque music, not broke like your empty pockets kind of thing with the money, but Baroque as in the classical music is supposed to have like a beat pattern that is really helpful for learning. I didn't find that to be true for myself, but I heard that that, that was a good tip for other people to do. And uh, But personally for me, my learning tip is I like, I like silence when I like to be learning because I like to be able to focus and concentrate on what I'm learning. So less distractions for me. That's why I do that. So action, what is your favorite learning tip? And then what can you learn in the next five to 10 minutes? If you're watching this show, hopefully you'll be learning already. So you won't even have to go elsewhere to go learn stuff. I mean, of course, I hope you do go elsewhere and learn other things as well. But um, what's the next, what's, what's something you can learn in it's so simply and easily in five to 10 minutes? You can Google something. You can you can um, settle a bet with one of your friends and, and do something like that. So, and then throughout this series, I would love your ideas of sharing because sharing is caring and we're sharing this this is a group community of people that you know we're all increasing our knowledge we're all helping each other out and bringing each other knowledge and helpful tips that you know we might know so throughout this series what is your favorite way or one way that you know of of becoming awesome what what is your tip or trick so let me know in the comments about that Okay, so I covered the health portion of learning. Actually, there's another little section of the health portion, and that is what can help with learning. I have a little tip. So uh, matcha. I, I like this package because it says a moment of focus. Um, I'm not going to reveal the brand name on this, but it's it's a major conglomerate, and I'm not a big supporter of those. But I just I found this in a, 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 at a hotel one time, and um, and they they happen to have this at the grocery store, and I I picked up a box because it was on sale. Uh, but I just liked it because it had the packages that says a moment of focus, which I liked it. So matcha is green tea leaves. It's the whole leaf, and apparently. Uh, why is matcha uh, even it's like green tea on steroids so it's a hundred times more antioxidant oxidant properties and antioxidants help quelch free radicals so they help eliminate free radicals in the body and free radicals are basically the waste products that cells produce and we don't want to have a lot of that uh, those free radicals floating around our body um, because they they do damage and they they help promote inflammation and inflammation if it gets out of hand you might have like minor inflammation which can be fatigued it could be uh, candida it could be it could ma inflammation can manifest manifest itself in a lot of ways it could be pain it could be like I said uh, fatigue brain fog uh, different things like that so if you you can lift those things and if you let inflammation go and go and go it can really lead to some serious health problems um, including cancer so your your little health problems can become bigger health problems if you do not address them when they're little so uh, the better you take care of yourself on a regular consistent basis the better you will be health wise overall for longevity and that's what you know this is what life is about it's not just about it it's not about um, not having fun and not doing the things that you enjoy, but also taking and doing things in moderation so that you can do those things that you enjoy for longer. So take care of yourself and and uh, do that. So yes, so that matcha, yes, so that inflammation, yep. Okay, covered all that. Okay, <laughs> I'm just wondering. I'm like going. I have so much to get in on this episode. Yes. All right. So. Um, See how I'm doing on time. I'm doing good on time so far. Okay. So, yes. So, helping. The, so, what the matcha helps do is it can help improve. Now, how this ties in with the learning is it helps promote um, or enhance memory and learning. So, that's pretty cool that a little bit of green tea. And they have this in all kinds of formats. So, you can even make your own capsules of matcha. And if you didn't like the taste for some reason, and, and just swallow it that way. Or you could take it and put it in a tea, get get a prepared tea. They're, they actually sell now matcha powder. 
So you could put it in a smoothie. You could put, you could sprinkle it over other things. So there's all sorts of ways to get this in. So give it a try and see how it helps improve your learning, your focus, and isn't that fun? Okay. All right. So health, humor. We're on to the humor portion. So I and I try and throw in humor in the whole part here. So that's that's part of my style. Okay, for the humor, the um, with the learning, there's a left side of the brain and a right side of the brain. So um, yes. So thank you for you guys for the hearts out hearts, thumbs up, all that kind of good stuff, the shares and everything. Okay, so left side of the brain. So two sides of the brain, right? And assuming they're working. And not, not everybody has the privilege of having that happen. So, and sometimes when you get in, uh, it, when you have injuries, you might have um, brain damage. Uh, you might, and it might be temporary, it might be permanent. Um, it, you know, so there, you know, if you ever encounter somebody and they're having a tough time, you never know what their situation is. You never know what they've gone through. So they might not be what you think they are. They, um, they, you know, some people say, oh, this person is not thinking or they're stupid or whatever, or making judgments on that. Uh, I have a friend of mine who who was in a motorcycle accident and when he was in his recovery um, and he's still recovering, too. But, you know, a lot of the brain function was missing. So he had to like relearn a lot of things. And that's not my only friend that has had that happen. You know, you could hit your head doing, you know, something small and, you know, have have a small brain injury or concussion. Um, you know, if you do sports and stuff like that, you know all about that. Anyway, uh, what we're doing with this humor is a, the, the humor portion is I'm going to be doing a lot, guiding you through a little after yoga exercise, but I want to explain this just a touch. So your left side of the brain, um, so each side of the brain, controls the opposite side of the body. So left side of the brain controls the right side of the body and the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body. <laughs> that's, that's a coordination move right there. <laughs> See, I told you this might be funny. Alrighty. So left side of the brain is more thought of as being your logical portion of the brain and then your right side of the brain and I'm pointing to my side so it might be opposite for you as you're watching this but anyway the right side is more of your creative so you want to nurture both sides of the brain so you have good brain balance and good life skills it's good for your learning to you know do logic and creativity so you can mix and intermingle those all right so what we're going to do with this how we're going to make this a laughter yoga exercise is we're going to be looking up to, looking over to the left and taking a nice big inhale and then we're going to be looking over to the right and doing a nice big exhale you can do this with a smile and a laugh at the same time now to make this super silly and also to go with you i i'm going to actually demonstrate on my new little spinny chair here <laughs> so let's start the laughter yoga we're going to do three breaths so three big inhales so i'm going to do hopefully in the same direction that you're doing this so we're going to inhale and look over the left shoulder and then, so inhale in, look over the left shoulder, think about the left brain, the logic side, and then exhale it out to the right. <laughs> and think about your creative side and inhale it over to the left. And exhale it over to the right. <laughs> inhale it into the left. And then exhale it out to the right. <laughs> Okay, I'm just spinning back around. <laughs> okay, so that was laughter yoga exercises. So we did, took three big breaths, three big inhales and exhales, and hopefully, you know, enlivening those brain cells and, um, and brain activity. So at the end of laughter yoga exercises, we take our hands together like so, and we take them nice and big and wide, and we do this twice. So please do this with me. Very good, very good, yay. Very good, very good, yay. And that concludes our little humor laughter yoga exercise portion of the show Woo yeah okay now we're going to get on to hooping if you're not a hooper try it anyway <laughs> you don't even have to have a hoop you could even just do this as just dance moves so but what we were going to be doing here i'm going to this is a little bit of a combination and uh and i'm going to show you as much as i can i have a little section of this um, of this dance that is a, a little choreography and i might be using a chair just to demonstrate I think I have a little cat hair in my mouth there. Okay. <laughs> Live TV. Live recording. Okay. So what we're doing is, and I'll uh, do, I think I've gone through my notes here. So I'm going to put 
the music over here. Get the music queued up here. Okay. And we need to go to the beginning. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is um, I'm going to demonstrate this first, and then I will try and get through as much of that in our little 20-minute section here. Uh, session. Okay. So, and this, like I said, this is an original song. I wrote the lyrics for this, and Billy DeVette wrote the music and put this all together. So we're going to be moving the legs for eight, and we're going to do a head circle to the right. And then we're going to lean right, come back in, and hit up and down, and and up and down. So we're going to be doing that little combination. So I'm going to break that down and explain it in a fairly quick way here. So what we're doing is that for that first eight count. So why I do this when I choreograph music is because sometimes if you're chore if you're um, out at a performance and somebody else is controlling your music, a lot of times they don't have the volume up or whatever happens um, that your music might not cut in for the beginning. So you want to have like a little bit of I don't want to call it waste but not important choreography so that you can hear the music and get into it. So what we're doing for that portion is the very first eight counts. Instead of just standing still, we're just going to take and wiggle our legs. So you can go right, left, right, left, right, left. So I don't know if I can do that in my own camera here. I'm going to do this on the chair. Let's see if I can do this on the chair. Okay, it's going to be right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay. <laughs> very silly, I know. Okay, I'm drop it. <laughs> All right, so you're just going to do right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left for eight counts. So, and it doesn't matter if you go left, right, left, right, that's okay too, because, you know, it's, you know, that's going to be okay. It's not the end of the world. All right, so again, these are just like pretty simple counts right there. So, eight counts one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I might be counting a little bit weird through this because there's some slow parts and some other parts that are kind of dance choreography counts, if you will. So on the next four counts, you're going to be doing a little head circle to the right. So we're going to just, and it's a nice big head circle, but it's nice and slow. So when you do a move slower, you can do it nice and big. So we're going to take our head, dip it down to the right and all the way around. And you don't have to go all the way back like this. Just make sure we go down and just look up and then come back around and look for it. And then the next um, four counts is you're going to be doing a nice big lean shift to the right. So we're going to lean with the right shoulder all the way over and lunge with the leg. Lunge with the leg. <laughs> so you don't have to pick up the leg, but in one of my cameras here, um, that's what I'm doing is lunging with the leg. So uh, lunging to the right with the right shoulder. So I'm leaning and then coming back. And uh, so, yeah, that's a count. And uh, so, <laughs> so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, lean five, six, seven, and eight. Or and uh, and eight. And so it's a two beats with the hoop of bam, bam. So, and you can do this with the right hand and just hit the hoop down on the ground. Um, I have a little hoop, so it's not reaching the ground in the camera, but it's bam, bam. So, and you can do this with dance. So, um, also what I would like you to remember on this. So when you're dancing this combination, any combination, I want you to remember four things. And that is, it's all about the posture. So, well, th three things I want you to remember. <laughs> all right. Three things. It is posture, dance. And smile. There we go. But there's four things with the posture. That's what it is. Okay. So anyway, what it is, is you're going to be lifting up through the spine. So lift all the way up like somebody's got a little string coming out the top of your head. So you're first lifting up. That's step one. Then you're going to take your shoulders, roll them up. That's step two. Keep the chest nice and lifted on this. Step three is you're going to take and pull in the abdominal wall. And step four is you're going to take, tuck the derriere under, and it's a little slight pelvic tilt so that we're not... We don't have bad dance posture. I'm over exaggerating this. We don't want to be sticking the tushy out and throwing, you know, the belly out. This is this is bad dance posture. That's bad. But up and lifted is going to be much better. Also, it's really good for longevity of your body and less pain. So if you're motivated by feeling good and not having pain, 
have good posture or try and remember that and self-correct throughout your day when you're doing that. Okay, so we're getting that good dance posture in with these counts. Okay, shall we do this with the music? So again, let's practice it without the music real quick for us. So you're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight with the legs. Just the legs are doing this beat, 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 beat. And then we're going to be doing the head circle around to the right. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to be doing five, six, seven, and eight for that hit. So you're going to lean to the right with that lunge and then come back nice and slow and eight. So same counts out and in and eight. Okay, so now let's try this with the music. Hey, we're almost on time here. Okay, we're going to try this once or twice with music and then I'm going to uh, let you guys go. All right, ready? Here we go. Legs, five, six, seven, eight. Head goes round, round, lean out, come in, and hit. Okay. So that is the first little section of a little dance combo there of like the just the instrumental part. Okay. So and then of course, oh, and on the last show I did the next portion of the dance, the the combo. So I'm doing these combos out of order, which was coming up down and then coming up and down so what that looks like real quick um so episode 81 <laughs> so this is episode 82 um it has that co quick combo that follows this one that we just did just now okay ready all with the music shifting with the legs five six seven eight head roll to the right around lean right come back in and in Around and down, pull and up and down. Isn't that cool? All right, that is it for today's show. I ran a couple minutes over, but I did, man, I threw a whole bunch of information at you guys. So hopefully you uh, got something out of it. What was your favorite tip? You know, uh, what was your favorite tip? What's your favorite learning tip? What's the thing you want to learn in the next five to 10 minutes? You can rewatch this video and learn something there. Type it in. Let me know. And then throughout this series of this eight-part Becoming Awesome series, so go ahead and hashtag Becoming Awesome and the laughter with the, the laughter technique. So we hit on the learning and the benefits of learning and the benefits of matcha tea. And uh, let's see here. We did a great la little laughter yoga exercise where we engage the left and the right sides of the brain literally with the laughter yoga and uh, did that and then we did that hooping combination which is the first section of the world hoop day dance but it's also just a cool dance part and um, you can un download the soundcloud uh, music again if you're using it for the world hoop day dance if you're using it for other purposes you do need to seek permission first and or compensation so not and or and <laughs> so and the the proceeds to any uh financial gains for that will be going to world hoop day to get hand hoops into the hands of kids around the world that's what world hoop day is all about and bringing world peace so it is saturday october 5th and so plan it on your calendars that's for this year it's the first saturday of the um, month of october so if you're watching this in a different year <laughs> For you. If you're watching the, the rec recording, then just know that and you can plan. Hopefully you'll plan your event. And uh, even if it's just you, <laughs> plan something fun that day and hoop and share your love of hooping with others. So, um, yeah. And if you need more help with this, I've got ways to work with you and all that kind of good stuff. So you can go hit my website. It is www.hipthehoopla.com, which is H-I-P-T-H-E. H O O P L A dot com. <laughs> so yes, and um, and if you'd like to sign up for the email, you can get a free little gift there, and uh, that is pretty awesome. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have somebody that you want to that you you want to share and and care for and share this with them, tag them in this, share this with them, and I really appreciate that. So thank you for watching. Rock on, peace out. I will see you on the next episode too of this eight-part series of the Becoming Awesome with the Laughter Technique. Okay, rock on, peace out. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye, everybody.